Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey and in today's video I'll be showing you how to take photos on Maple Springs eventing and how to make them look like aesthetic and like kind of like the ones you might see on Instagram and all that and I'll show you how to like use Freecam and just do a full tutorial on how to take them. So here are some examples. So first of all, I just like to say that you can do this full tutorial with just one device. But if you have two devices that allows you to like um, take photos with one and then move with the other, so it might be a bit easier. And you'll also can do like animations, like pat and long grain and all that. So it might be useful. But um, one device can also get you pictures, like I've shown you before. So basically. You're going to want to spawn in your horse and just get ready. And obviously if you have like a helmet and riding clothes that helps. Um, but you can still take really good photos without uh, like clothes for Robux and all that. So first of all you're going to want to get into Freecam. And you can do this by pressing Shift and C at the same time on your keyboard. And I don't think you can actually do Freecam on mobile um, I know there might be some like glitches and that kind of stuff, but overall you can't do free camp on mobile, or at least not that I know of. So you can still take pictures in a similar way, they just might look a bit worse in my experience, but you can still take pretty good photos. So once you're in free camp, you're going to want to adjust your camera however you want, and basically to move from side to side you can press a and d so a is move to the left d is move to the right with your camera and then you can actually still move your character you just can't move like you can't speed up you can only jump and kind of go side to side so using the arrows you can actually still move your character side to side and using the space bar you can still jump um, and then to zoom in your camera, you can use the little scroller on your mouse if you have a mouse. But if you don't have a mouse, you can just like your little pad thing that you use to like move your, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Arrow, like move your cursor and all. Um, you can just like pinch that like inside and outside to kind of zoom in and zoom out. I don't know if that makes sense but I hope it does. And then just like angle. I usually for my jumping photos I usually angle my camera so it's just kind of like you can see kind of front of the horse but also the side so like this. And the old graphics should be on manual and then all the way up if your device allows you to. And then you're just going to want to move back a bit and then zoom in so you can get this kind of quality. And then you're just going to want to jump and take a screenshot whenever you want. And yeah, I just, I just, fell. <laughs> that's the same clip. But yeah, I just kept falling off this horse. I think I fell off like twice in five minutes. Um, But anyway, so that's how you do that and it goes the same if you're on mobile and don't have free cam it's kind of similar you just might get a bit worse quality because you can't um obviously like free move wherever you want uh so yeah that's basically how you take photos and i do really recommend um if you want like matching close to your tack then uh, you can go into the uh, like avatar shop and search up MSC riding and then that should come up with clothes that match the colours of the tack and stuff so if you want to buy those that's how you can do that and like I said I fell off again so this video is just going great <laughs> so obviously if you want to like take photos of the surroundings I guess then you can just put yourself in free cam and just kind of mess around with zooming in and out until you get a, an angle you like. For Instagram I also crop my photos and I sometimes edit them on like uh, like a photoshop or something like that 
so that I can kind of add whatever I like but that's just something optional and also you can use loads of filters in like CapCut or Ibis Paint or whatever you use to edit your photos and you can add some filters so here are some like filters from CapCut to kind of show you guys how it changes the photo There's also like different adjustments and all that kind of stuff but it just depends on what kind of look you want to do and uh, yeah I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope that you can take some pretty photos now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!